Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to my channel. Deb Chanel's Four Days World, that's where you're at, in case you forgot. Now you're saying, get to the point, get, get to the point, get to the point, get, get to the point. Deb Chanel's Four Days World, what do you got to tell us today? What's happening out there in them streets on social media? Well, honey, baby, Andy Cohen from Watch What Happened Live, he is making a claim against Real Housewives of Platonic stars husband, Ashley Darby, her husband, Michael Darby, Darby. He is claiming, that is, Andy Cohen is saying her husband, Michael Darby, grabbed his behind. <laughs> I'm like, what? Where do we get that out at? Why are we even talking about this? Why haven't he filed legal representation behind the doors? Uh-uh. And the coin putting this as a staple in social media, honey. He's saying he's clocking his own tea. He might even do interviews on his show with people that want to come in and talk about this uh, sensational story that I guess he's going to be getting paid from. Yes, Andy Cohen from Watch What Happens Live and executive producer over at the Real Housewives of Atlanta of True Entertainment has made a claim for the world to hear and to digest all its entities, okay? He has said, Michael Darby squeezed my buttocks, all right? <laughs> you just can't make this stuff up, people. You just cannot make it up, even if you tried, okay, to put it out there on a reality show to make it be true. Nope. Andy Cohen cocking his own teeth, putting his narrative out there for us to read, okay? But anyway, it goes on. It's like I said, it's on RadarOnline.com. Um, it doesn't really give a uh, journalist or a correspondent saying they were responsible for writing the article. So I guess it just goes under one umbrella. They just write for Radio Online and Radio Online gets all the credits they publish it. Okay, but the uh, title of the article says Andy Cohen claims Real Housewives of Potomac star Michael Darby squeezed his butt. Okay, this is not allegedly. This is like proof in the pudding. This is coming from the horse's mouth. The man that sits on his own platform and dish dirt on the housewives or any other celebrity of entertainment that's out there and willing to come on his show and give dirt. Okay, so it goes on to say Ashley husband is under fire. Admit string a string of wild sexual misconduct allegations. Michael Darby has a lot to explain. Yes, he do, because we the people want to know why you going around him squeezing butts, okay? Not on heterosexual men, on gay men, okay? Who's out and open in the public and don't want you squeezing on their butt. So are you trying to tell the people? Michael, that you go both ways, you're bisexual, honey. Tell me what we the people want to know, okay? Just claim your own state. Just say you're attracted to Andy Cohen, you know, or whatever. Because right now you're looking at a lawsuit, honey. You're looking at a lawsuit, allegedly, okay? After this Sunday, Real Housewives of Platonic Season 4 reunion, the star got hit by a new set of sexual misconduct claims. This time from Robert Andy Cohen said Michael 60 once squeezed his butt okay now I know when what's her name Katie was on the show back then I think I was watching it around season two and three anyway uh I think they had went to some type of party and Katie and her uh husband oh no he that was her fiance he never would marry her because I think he was I think he was a straight up a uh, gay guy, but he tried to play like he went both, well, he was uh, strictly heterosexual, but he just had too many tendencies that knew, oh, that would make you really think that, hey, now nah, that brother, he like men too, okay, he, he ain't trying to fool nobody, but he going around trying to act like he loving on Katie and this, that, and third, but he won't commit, never will commit to Katie around the time that I was watching uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. But anyway, um, yeah, I think they were touching each other's butts on the dance slow then. But um, Ashley's fiance, he was loving it. 
<laughs> it was okay with him. Plus, he was half drunk at the time when they were filming that particular episode. So you really couldn't say it was like a foul on play. It was more so like, he did it. Yeah, he did. I know he did it. So uh, it, it's okay with me. Hush, Elijah. And so um, we go on to see that uh, Michael is getting another claim against him that uh and is coming out because maybe somebody else on the show is trying to sue uh michael in some form or fashion and and is going to take up for them and be a witness to that situation while he's saying oh yeah he did it to me so he has that type of behavior yes yeah, so i don't know maybe somebody else and it's not really necessarily andy Who's going to like put the uh, the uh, screws to Michael? He might assist with that situation that's going on behind the scenes. But anyway, um, we go back to the article. It said when asked about the incident during the reunion, Andy said he didn't remember, but other castmates' husband insisted that it happened. Ray Huger, Karen Huger's husband, told Michael, "I seen you grab someone behind." For myself, I saw you in a different situation. I saw you grab Andy's butt at the reunion. I saw that. You guys were kidding around. It's not a big deal. He said that Michael Ashton's towards Andy made him feel or made him believe that he did. In fact, groped the show's cameraman doing filming. I did believe you. Wait a minute. He said, I did believe you did it, Ray said. I didn't think it was a bad thing. I thought you were being playful. My situation was, you do that? You told me and you told the world that you do that in Australia all the time. Uh, RadarOnline.com Radar readers know that a cameraman filed a police report against the real estate mongol whom he claimed grabbed and groped his butt during filming. So, okay. <laughs> so, Andy might be taking up for the film guy. And plus, they got other people that have said they seen Michael in action grabbing or groping other men's buttocks. Okay, whether it was a play, playful exchange or it was downright a sexual thing. Letting that person know, hey, I'm into that. Do you want to swing, in other words? So, see, it's the cameraman. And Andy probably going to sit there allegedly and help him out in court and get that little chain because that was an unwanted touch. Whether that man was gay or he was heterosexual, he didn't invite nobody to touch his buttocks. So that means hands off, whether you're female or male. If I don't want you touching my buttocks, if I didn't give you permission to touch my buttocks, make like you don't see my buttocks and leave it alone. Pretty much that's what that cameraman was saying. Okay. Uh... The charges were later dropped, but it didn't take long for Michael to be slammed with a series of similar sexual misconduct uh, uh, accusations. The Real Housewives of Platonic uh, women said the alleged incident took place in 2016 during the show's first season. See, I told you, I, I kind of thought it was the second and third season, but it, it, it was probably the first. But anyway... Um, my recollection is kind of fuzzy these days, but I knew I was somewhere around there. It says around the same time, cameras caught Michael touching the backside of Katie Ross, then fiance. Yep, see, I told y'all that before I even started it. I knew, oh, uh, I had, but I thought it was the second and third season. But okay, it was the first season. But yes, they're giving confirmation that um, Michael touched the backside of Katie Ross, new then at the time fiance, Andrew Martin on a dance floor. During the reunion, Chris Bassett, Candace Dillard's husband, claimed he was with Michael at D.C. venue L2 Lounge when Michael allegedly groped a cameraman, the same one who made a misconduct claim against him. Meanwhile, Robin Dixon and Candace alleged that at a party, they overheard Michael saying he would be open to performing oral sex on cast member Juan Dixon. Now, that's Robin Dixon's husband or boyfriend at the time hell they were just living together they were divorced but they were living together because he was too cheap to go out on his own and then uh, robin was too weak to let him go on on his own and she raised them kids along with him 
uh, also like this co-parenting, but they just took enough. They took co-parenting to another whole level. But if you had to be there, you had to watch season one through three, and then you can understand why I just don't give a crap about that situation. Okay, but uh, going back to the article, it says, despite it all, Michael, who is married to uh, Real Housewives of Potomac star Ashley Darby, has maintained his innocence, denying he had ever touched any other men, and included. And of course, why would she go against her bread and butter? Because she ain't got nothing about the show. And really, Housewives of Potomac really not hidden like that. It ain't, no, it ain't hidden like Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Beverly Hills one in probably Orange County or probably the New Jersey ones too. No, because I think they were going to even cancel uh, pretty much Potomac because I think Dallas was on their hit list as well because it just didn't stand up to the test of time. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm going? Even though Carrie Hoogler was trying to hold it down for them and Giselle, Giselle at her moments in time, she does rise to the occasion. But uh, no, they just really didn't hold my attention that well and I, I, I've been cut them loose as uh, far as giving commentary or even wasting my time on their mindless drama watching them just for my, you know, pleasure. So, uh, going back to the article, it said that, um, what a waste of time. There's another unfounded accusation from someone. He said, you and I might have had a fun joke about it. I don't think I grabbed your butt. He told the host, man, he's talking to Andy Cohen. I don't remember Andy said, I'm sure I was fine with it. The show went well. I love you guys. And of course, Andy ain't going to come out the pocket and try to get no lawsuit against nobody unless he probably terribly hurting for money and the shows have been canceled, okay? Because in their clause, that if y'all go back to my videos and I said the rules and regulations, the housewives have to, you know, be a party to, they can't even sue each other on the show. Meaning if they get in any type of altercation, it's in their contract. They can't uh, seek no type of legal uh, representation to file no type of claim against no housewife, on the show or house husband or whatever. Yes, that's something. Just go on and watch it. Uh, can't really tell you too much about it because I ain't watching this. Uh, <laughs> I don't have my information. I just spit stuff off my dome and I go with it, publish it, and I'm done with it. But if you want to catch it, the rules and regulations, I think I titled it in my archives of videos regarding what the housewives have to do to stay on the show. Go on and take a look at it and, and get your little tease on, okay? But that's probably in uh, Andy Cohen's contract as well with True Entertainment. He can't be filing no lawsuits either. Because, I mean, the whole show is built on drama, uh, built on just ratchetness. And, you know, that's what we like as a society. You know, I ain't going to lie and say I don't like a little mischief here and there. But not something that's going to be very detrimental to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So whatever they give me on TV and they cool with it, then they should be cool with me vlogging about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't like I put nothing towards them and it ain't like I'm lying on nothing. I'm physically seeing it just like y'all are seeing it. And I'm making my own opinion about it. I ain't making up no stories. I'm just looking at the, the stuff that comes around. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to speak on that because I ain't like that. I ain't like that action. And like I said, it just is what it is. But going back to the article... It said, um, on this Sunday, watch what happens live. However, Andy revealed, that was me. It was at the end of the reunion a few years before, and I just totally forgotten, frankly. Someone at Bravo reminded me the next day. I said, wow, Michael squeezed my butt. But he said that that's the way he's just friendly with other guys. Have you ever heard of that before? I'm like, doggone, Andy, you don't put the tea out there. You don't physically say it from your mouth. This man uh, with no wanting of you uh, to just went on and touched your butt without even uh, saying he's finna touch your butt. Or can he touch your butt? He was saying that's just like a friendly handshake that you get of somebody you just met that find themselves liking you. Just not... Uh, just as a person, you know, not sexual or anything, but that's his calling card. That's how he gets down to just grabbing your butt, squeezing it and saying, hello. <laughs> Child, in my lifetime, the one I'm living now, that'll get you an ass whooping. That's what it'll get you, okay? Any female try to grab my butt or any male try to get, grab my butt and it's on once. I'm not soliciting you for that. You're you, you going to catch these hands, these feet, these teeth, everything, okay? You're going to be catching some rap of me. 
Oh, child, I tell you, they just be tripping me out on this social media. You got one person going to jail. Oh, I think she's going to put her husband in jail. She ended up getting put in jail. That's Stacey Dash. If you ain't caught that video, go on and get your little kiki on because it was hilarious. Now you got Andy Cohen talking about, well, I can't remember if he touched my butt. But yes, again, yeah, again, yeah, he did do that, didn't he? So I can believe that he's probably done touch the cameraman butt and other people butts out there too. He just won't admit to it. <laughs> and then Michael probably going behind everybody back and paying off them folks. All right. Because that green, that old amount of dollar will make you forget. Make you do things that you thought you didn't want to do if you're that type of person, if you weak for that green, all right? But that's all I have for this video. It has been quite comical today in the uh, articles that I am putting out on my video. They have definitely gave me a laugh. And like they say, laughter is good for the soul. So people don't get so tense out there when I drop videos on y'all favorite um viewers or fans or however you look at celebrities these days could tell you the truth they just like you and i they are people they put on their dresses they put on their pants they put on their shoes they put on their underwear the same way you do okay i just have a sense of humor and when they drop stuff like that i gotta speak on it. i gotta talk about it i gotta get to that point of reference okay but y'all enjoy yourselves thank you for coming to my channel Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for getting in on comments and, and, and interacting with one another. And let's spark up dialogue. Interesting dialogue. Not dialogue trying to call people and dissing everything and but the child of God, okay? Just get into the conversation we're having about the piece, the article, the subject at hand. All right. Y'all be blessed. I'll talk to you soon for something else. Bye-bye.